Welcome to Off the Wall, a video series about the hat life. Alex from your Gorm Bros Virtual Styling here again today with a new video, and I'm giving you tips and tricks for taking care of your straws. Let's get right to it. Okay, so I'm filming this on the Friday before Derby Day, the Kentucky Derby is tomorrow. Kentucky Derby in the hat industry feels like really the official start of straw season. It's usually warm enough, certainly in the South, to be wearing straw fedoras. And the rest of the country, if you're not having warm weather yet, it's certainly on its way, I hope very, very soon. Which means your wool fedoras, which of course your felt fedoras, doesn't matter if it's wool or fur, I want you to wear them year round and I want you to be happy with them, but they might be a little bit hot in the summertime, right? In the middle of the day when the sun's really high and shining all on your head, you don't necessarily want to be wearing a felt. You want a straw fedora. So for taking care of straw fedoras, it's a little bit different than felts. I'm just gonna give you a couple basic tips and tricks to start here that'll get you started if this is your first time owning a straw. Let's get to it. Okay. So the first thing, and maybe the most important thing above all with straws is do not get them wet. This is very, very important. Don't get caught in a crazy thunderstorm. Don't wear this into the pool. Don't wear this in the ocean. Don't let this get sprayed with a water hose consistently. You don't want any of that. You think it's crazy that I'm saying something like, don't wear this in a pool, but believe me, there's a reason I'm saying this. I've had customers tell me these horror stories before. What happens when straw gets wet? Well, have you ever had a newspaper that got a little wet or something like that? You see how it kind of loses its shape and loses its structure? The same thing's gonna happen over time. Maybe not a splash or anything like that, but certainly if you're getting this consistently wet or immersing it in water, it's gonna break down the straw fibers. It's gonna lose its shape. It's hard to get that back once it's lost. So, above all, I can't say it enough, do not let this get wet. Okay, so my second tip here is be wary of storing this in direct sunlight. So, a common thing we hear from clients or we see with people bringing them into the shop is, I left this in the back seat in the rear window of my car overnight, all day, whatever, and now it's cracked or it's sun faded way beyond recognition of the color. So direct sunlight when you're wearing it's one thing throughout the day, but if you're gonna store this in direct sunlight, two things are gonna happen. One, sun fade's gonna happen for sure. It doesn't matter if it's a light colored hat, it doesn't matter if it's a colored hat, it's gonna fade out that color. The sun just is gonna do what it's gonna do, right? The other thing, which is maybe a little bit more alarming, is it's gonna dry out the straw fibers themselves to where they don't feel really as soft and as, I don't know, have a, a certain sense of give to it that they should have. And instead, they're gonna start to feel very rigid and almost like they're gonna crack. You can start to hear like almost like creaks in the floor, um, creaks in the straw itself. That's a sure sign that you have a dry straw hat. To correct that, you need to give it a little bit of steam give it a little bit of moisture to kind of bring that back. Be careful of handling it from the top when, when hats are dry because it will crack no matter what. You want to be very gentle and try to hold from underneath the crown like I am here or from the brim type. But keep this out of direct sun and make sure it's not getting dried out. Overall, with storage, you want to be aware of making sure you're keeping this in a climate controlled place, right? You don't want to store it in a closet that gets excessively dry or has an excessively uh, hot, humid air because it will really distort the shape. Climate controlled area is the best for this straw. And my last tip is, you're gonna be wearing this in summer when it's hot. What happens when it's hot? We sweat, right? How are you gonna prevent sweat stains? Well, there's not really a whole lot of preventing it, but to prevent or at least slow down the process of sweat stains bleeding through here on the hat band itself, you want to do one of two things, if not both. One, when you get done wearing the hat and you're at home, you can wipe out, you can lift up the inside sweatband and wipe out this whole area and the sweatband itself and just let it dry naturally. What I would use to wipe that out is baby wipes or even a handkerchief. That gets me to my second tip, which is if you carry a handkerchief around you as you're wearing a hat throughout the day, you can just take your hat off wipe your head off and wipe the inside of that band. And that's gonna prevent from nasty, nasty buildup throughout a long day of wearing this, bleeding all the way through this band. It's really just gonna protect 
that hat band from getting nasty. We want to wear this in the elements, of course, but we also want it looking good for a long period of time. By doing some preventative maintenance, and making sure you give it a wipe at the end of the day or throughout the day, you can really keep that from happening too quickly. Okay, so that's it on straws. If you're wondering what hats these are, by the way, this is the Monte Carlo and this is the Hartman and Mint. I hope they're still available by the time you're watching this. I love them both. If not, we got plenty more coming throughout summer. So if you have any questions, leave a comment right there on the bottom of this YouTube, or you can go to Gorin.com and open up that chat box on the bottom right, talk to one of us stylists, or you can always book a virtual appointment with me. And I'll be happy to talk you through any questions you have. So until I see you that next time, keep on living that hat life. Bye.